The Silver Shroud lies in wait, ready to dispense justice. Justice to people who deserve it. Any rumors about Planty Mush being involved in any sort of firefight that was unbecoming is false. Non-canon never happened. So, where is the Planty Mush today? Where is the Silver Shroud today? He is in the Cabot House. You might recognize the place. Uh, we're here. Hello, Edward. It's been a long time. Uh, we're here to come and have a chat with Jack Cabot, because you might remember... Oh, do what? When we completed the quest... Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Strong is just making himself at home. Fair enough. Uh, you might remember that when we completed the Cabot quest and we defeated Lorenzo, uh, Jack said, come back to my place in a week and I'll have something for you. So, ooh. What? Zeta gun? Oh. If I'm not mistaken, that's it. That's That, I think, is the thing Jack was going to give us. Uh, it's got the, it's got the, I think this front bit, right, is the, is the top of Lorenzo's crown, if I'm not mistaken, of the artifact. Well, there we are. Uh, it fires gamma rounds, which brings me on to a nice topic of conversation, um, from last episode, right? When, uh, we, we were supposed to be doing the automaton DLC, and I absolutely will be doing that. Don't you worry, don't panic. Uh, but things got a little distractive here and there. Distractive? Distracted, uh, and we ended up chasing... The alien vessel and uh, blah, blah, blah. And, and before you know it, we're, we're on this wild goose chasing the other vault. But what is relevant is the alien blaster, right? Oh, hello. Massachusetts Surgical Journal number five. Permanently inflict plus 2% limb damage. Thank you. How kind. And I said during that, uh, you know, the alien blaster's got limited ammo, etc., etc. Lots of people point out we can convert that to fusion cores. Um, to avoid kind of the issue we've got with the cryolator. I think somebody said we can do it with the cryolator as well. But we'll have a look into that. We'll see what we can do with it. I, I know it reduces the uh, damage right the way down, though, if we convert the Alien Blaster over to Fusion Cores. So it might be better to burn through the ammo we've got and then afterwards swip it over to uh, Fusion Cores if that's what we want to do. So, now that we've got that sorted, we didn't actually speak to anybody in there. We just ran and grabbed it and got out, but fair enough. Uh, we've got to go find that Caravan Distress Frequency, I believe. This is an emergency broadcast. Okay, here we go. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots. Robots. They need some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. They need serious help. Anyone in the vicinity can come help. Now's the time. Ada, loop this message. This seems like a job for the Silver Shroud and his good friend, uh, the unnamed strong man. Start quest mechanical menace. This oh. Is an Helping people and it's technology based. This is the perfect storm for Planty Mush Silver Shroud. Because the Silver Shroud is like a persona. It's it's a it's it's a a, a shield that we can wear. It's a, it's it's a, a, a hat that we can equip. You know, it's a mask that we don. And Planty Mush puts a part of himself into the Silver Shroud, not literally. Uh, metaphorical, of course. And oh, oh raiders! Be gone! You face the silver shroud. <laughs> I think we need a more elegant weapon. I feel terrible every single time we blow someone to pieces with this bloody shotgun. And you know, there have been many silver shrouds before. It's a mantle. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a mantle that we've taken on ourselves. And, uh, you know, part of Planty Mush goes there. So even though we should be helping the innocents and uh, doing whatever it is the silver shroud does, avenging the innocents and, uh, and protecting them and investigating, keeping the wasteland safe from harm, you know, Kent's dream. Simultaneously, we are still Planty Mush. We can't let the Silver Shroud overshadow everything. Part of Planty Mush is, is always going to be part of the Silver Shroud now, and, and going about machines, that seems pretty perfect. Bringing justice to people being affected by machines is absolutely on brand. Now, the other thing I floated, I talked about this, um, was it last episode, the episode before, where I mentioned the, the Unstoppables, right? That's the, that's the in-game canon name for the team that Planty Mush... Uh, sorry, the, the Silver Shroud. Ooh. And, um, you know, a bunch of other superheroes, for lack of a better word, are all a part of. There was this enormous barbarian type called uh, Grognak, if I'm not mistaken, which I think we could probably fill that in with our big strong friend. You know, I feel like we've got that role covered. Then, of course, there's Planty, Planty Mush's the Silver Shroud, who was another member. I think the other ones were, I think there was the Inspector, and there was... Um, Shit, I can't remember. The Magician, I want to say. 
And then there was also Man, Man Ray. <laughs> but not Man Ray. Uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, we've got, we've got three of the roles to fill in on our team if we want to do that. I think that should be our ultimate goal for the playthrough. Build the Unstoppables to bring protection to the wasteland. It is I, the Silver Shroud, here to dispense justice to Machine and Raider. Integrated swarm bots. What the hell are we fighting it? Is that an enemy? That's not an enemy. Oh, shit. What the hell are we looking at here? Look at the size of these robots. Also worth noting, we're not auto-looting everything. I wonder because it's DLC stuff. So we're going to keep a little... Uh, keep a slightly closer eye out for... Ooh, hello. Keep a slightly closer eye out for uh, lootables because these are going to be very relevant to Planty Mush, right? Be taking those if you don't mind. Any sort of robotics-based stuff, any sort of crafting stuff is, is fantastic. Fantastically appropriate. We'll be taking all of this. Thank you. Especially the pork and beans and the yum-yum deviled eggs. Jackson's holotape. Oh, this was the guy on the radio then, huh? I get that impression. Oh, dear. How sad. We got here too late. Remember, Planty, you can't save everyone. That was a valuable lesson we had to learn yesterday. Even though sometimes some people have to survive. Uh, like, Kent kind of a key part of this character. Uh, you can't always save everyone. You can't always save everyone. Well, here we are then. Uh, who do we speak to? Oh, there's a robot. Ah, uh, great greetings. It is I, the Silver Shroud. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. Aid of the robot. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Ah, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Oh, um, can we say it's not your fault? No? Uh, uh tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, mm. but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, Misguided. merchants. And caravans like ours. Sounds like we a perfect job for Planty Mush. We encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. Hmm. Uh. Uh, why, why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that Doesn't it just? Business. It was a calculated risk. Oh, uh. Yeah, uh, you couldn't have known something like this would happen. I think the, the unnamed strong men just sat on a body. <laughs> I justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and justice their is Planty's middle name. The mechanist. the mechanist. Ah, you will need help if you're going to succeed. I'm aware of this. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. In return, that I can give you plan. the schematics to build your own robot workbench. Ooh. So you have additional resources in this undertaking. Robot workbench? He would never say this is my fight. You want revenge, don't you? Oh. Uh absolutely. He does it. He's got ten intelligence. He doesn't need to ask what the, what a robot workbench is. It's clearly obvious. Uh uh the silver shroud will assist you. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last Strong saw like a group that. of the mechanist Bizarre. robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the mechanist. Mm, detective I will work. follow and assist with your permission. Absolutely. Uh, of course. Uh, you may assist me. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high I certainly the hope so. are still there. Oh, we've got to send... <gasps> we have to send the strong man in favor of the robot. Okay, well, look. It's a necessary evil. We will return him... We should rename the Starlight Drive into like the Unstoppables headquarters. Maybe I could build a themed room for all of the characters. Okay, off he goes. Goodbye, my strong unnamed friend. Stay vigilant in the co in the uh, in the name of justice. He's not listening. He's not listening. Oh, does that say level twenty-one? What could we do at level twenty-one? Was there not something special about that? Oh, we got two perks to spend. Wait, did I not spend one yesterday? Oh. I could have sworn I did. Well, never mind. Uh, that's right. Hacker is level 21. So, obviously, we're going for that one without a shadow of a doubt. 28 for science. 25 for gun nut. Armorer, which we could do something with. Blacksmith could also be very, very useful, to be fair. Um, honestly, maybe just putting the point in endurance might not hurt either. 
What do you think? Is that like a shotgun specific? Test with rifles. I wonder if there is a shotgun specific perk somewhere. Not that it matters too much, of course, but I wonder, I wonder if it's in strength. Oh, strength. Uh, but oh no, that's just bashing. Weird. Heavy gunner? Practice with heavy guns. Maybe shotguns count as rifles? Dare I say it? Surely not. Okay, um, buying and selling prices are better. Take a beating with toughness. That actually might not hurt. I'm really not sure what to spend it on. Honestly, Action Boy could be very good. Oh, the Mysterious Stranger. Hold on. Think about it for the superhero theming. That is perfect. Okay, investigate General Atomics. We just we just head off then, huh? Uh, what exactly is that? Do we even have a... Oh, I was going to say we don't even have the quest tagged. Um, let's go quickly tag this building over here, speaking of which, and then we can come back here if we need to. Oh, consumer electronics. Well, that's also useful. Should we just poke our head in quickly? Sorry, I don't want to get too distracted too fast. Robot repair kits repair robot companions down in combat can be favored for quick use. Humans cannot use robot repair kits on themselves. Well, unless you're a goddamn synth. I know the Gen 3 synths are made of biological matter. Oh, there is something rare here, because it's already been pinged on the map. I thought I'd disabled that, but honestly, I'm not I'm not really complaining that much. Saves poking around for hours, huh? Okay. Um, well, let's see what we can find in here. Oh, dear. We're not getting back up then, huh? Well, in we go. Hello? Is that still alive? Yeah. I don't think so. Just a Mr. Handy kind of perpetually floating. That's really... Oh, dear. Okay, let's be careful. Oh! Find anything useful? Yes! Uh, yes, I did, robot companion! Oh, that's nice that she comments on it all. That's pretty good, though, eh? Okay. Um, wow, this is... Even if this was a, a super expert master lock, doesn't matter anymore, because we've got all the hacking we could possibly... You seem to also have superpowers. You are a great addition to my team. Another one. Another one with powers. The matter-phasing robot. The unkillable dog. The eternally strong man. <gasps> Total hacks number one. Includes the Protectron hacking source code. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, that's really useful to get, huh? We've got a little safe down here, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So I presume if we hack this, then we could, it'll be a Protectron, funnily enough. Activate demo mode. Yes, please do. Server status. Server offline. Note from management. Don't understand what's so hard about this, see? All I'm asking is for you to turn off the military protocols on the robot shipping we got last night so we can put them on the demo mode in the store. How hard could it be? You know computers. Are you too busy reading comics, playing games? Grow up and be a team player. Mr. Felix. Thank you, Mr. Felix. Mr. Felix sounds like a piece of shit. Robots! You face the silver shroud. Check your memory banks for the unstoppables. Oh, that Mr. Handy was alive. <laughs> Why do the Mr. Handys have a better British accent than the Mr. Handy who's trying to be British? I don't quite understand. I, I've only just pieced that together. How odd. Damn it, Todd. Every time. He's what he means well. He means well. Devil. God, I can't wait to get the next pair of gun nuts. <laughs> we will make ourselves a much more subtle weapon. Something that stands for justice. It just doesn't seem like a very heroic weapon, does it? A combat shotgun. I mean, then again, neither is picking up someone's hand bones from the sink. But again, that's planting, one of Planting Bush's many superpowers is the... Uh, is his uncanny ability to gather an incredible amount of crap that he probably doesn't need. Maybe that'll be the big reveal at the end about Planty's character, you know? What his um, psychiatrist said was an unbelievable amount of kleptomania. A distracting level of kleptomania. You know, taking a break from important tasks to steal things, even at the threat of death. Maybe it turns out this has just been a superpower all along. Even without being the Silver Shroud. Give me that dog food. <laughs> okay, don't you worry. Hacker voice. Oh. Are we just automatically hacking these? Do we get XP for that, don't we? It was just... What's the point of having a locked safe if you can just... Immediately unlock it? Assistant manager handy. Oh, no. God damn, we're getting a lot of stuff from here already. This was worth coming into for sure. 
very glad we had a look around. Let's get into the habit of po just, just kind of casually poking around in buildings a little bit more, seeing what we've got. We've got more of a reason to do it in this game, like unlike most other Fallouts. Because you need it for your basic base building. Can we have a look over here? What was it? What was over here? Hello. Ah. Uh, ah. We haven't had a look over here. Military grade circuit board. Thank you. Might be robot necessary. You don't know. You don't know these things. We might need that if we build a robot. Are we actually going to build a robot? Uh, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Probably try it once, but... Got such a, I've, I've already got the team idea in, in mind, you know? It's kind of locked in in my brain. Oh! You face the silver shroud! <laughs> See, shotguns a <are> cockroach! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, apparently we haven't been upstairs yet. Then we'll get, we'll get on with the DLC. We'll get on with the DLC. Can we, how do we get up there? Remind me? Uh, probably those stairs immediately next to the area we want to get to. That's, that's insane. That's really crazy that you think about it like that. Okay. Oh! A mini nuke and a tremendous amount of money. Why does a consumer electronics store have a mini nuke? Well, I mean, it is America. Okay. Sorry. Let's get back to work fighting and bringing justice to this mechanist. Uh, one day, one day we'll bring justice to this mechanist. We're carrying so much stuff. It's takes, taking the game a long time to load. Okay, here we go. The shotgun of justice never empties. Except into the back of three innocent minute men. <laughs> non-cannon. It was a non-cannon event. You all saw it. The Raider shot a shot and it ricocheted. Off the ceiling, I went through all... They were all stood in a straight line, and I went through all three of them simultaneously. That dog bowl was very essential to the progression of planting mush. Integrated swarm bot. Oh, dear. Okay, these don't take much damage from the shotgun to the extent that maybe it's time to test out this alien rifle that we picked up, huh? I think we've got to give it a go. It's time for me to test my new technology. Introduce a little planty mush. Introduce a little planty mush to the Silver Shroud. Oh dear. I was completely focused on trying not to waste the ammo that I wasn't looking at the health of planty mush. <laughs> when you miss six shots in a row, you, you, you are, you know, you dial in a little bit. Right, let's try that again. Turns out that thing's incredibly inaccurate. Let's be a bit more careful. Okay, we're ready. Might have to even use VATS on occasion, dare I say. I am very anti-VATS as a concept. Let's slow down the game so it can play itself. What a great idea. Just really just fantastic. It made sense in the isometric fallout. Because it was fucking turn-based. Oh, that's a friend. Don't shoot that. Legendary Rust Devil. Oh, God. Be gone! It is I! The Silver Shroud! God, jeez. It is hard to aim this thing. My God. Okay. Goodbye. Abundant amount of alien ammo. Great shot. Careful. Did you see me press control then to try and fucking dodge roll? God damn. <laughs> you just had the dodge roll mod already. Okay, is that a friend? That was not a friend. We're okay. Okay, getting close. <gasps> Silver Shroud! That's what he shouts when he, uh... It's like a Pokemon. Oh! Great shot there. Amazing work. Metal... Armor of cunning. Plus one agility and perception. That's actually really good. Shame that we can't really do much about that right now. Ah! The silver shroud is over encumbered. Oh no, this is a terrible time to be over encumbered. Uh, right, let's just quickly maybe drop something on the floor. Robot armor, chest piece. We don't need that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> nope, still still over encumbered. What's really? Oh, I was looking at the wrong number. Shit. Okay, sorry. Drop that. And drop the fatigues as well. There you are, you're good, you're good. Right, let's maybe get into some cover here. Right, okay, we're safe, we're safe. Oh, get out of the way, you fucking dog. Jesus. So the Rust Devils are part of the Mechanist faction, I would assume? Okay, over and coming again. Maybe we should head back. We should head back. This is too much junk. Get rid of that. We'll, we'll stop, we'll loot after the battle, okay? We'll loot after the battle. I'm just trying to make sure that we don't miss anything. Be gone! It is I! Newly empowered laser silver shroud. Okay, who else are we looking at? Where are they all? 
Oh, it's so dark. Amazing. Okay. A little touching over there for a second, but I think we somehow got through it. The bodies are staying glowing, which is nice to see. Uh, I definitely have lost someone over here. Did I not shoot someone here? Well, they're gone now. So they didn't have anything important. A taser. We'll definitely take the taser. We'll take the laser pistol too. Okay. Uh, let's drop some of this crap then. I think the laser musket I can break down into, into better stuff. We definitely don't need all these pipe weapons. What the hell? Why am I collecting so much junk? I ask myself that. Every time I play this game, it's bizarre, isn't it? Uh. Ah! The Silver Shroud needs this stuff. It's important. It's imperative for justice. If we weren't the Silver Shroud, honestly, the robot armor could be super appropriate for Planty Mush. Different lifetime, you know? It was a different, different life. Very different life. We've gone down this one path, but we could have done so much different stuff, you know? Planty Mush could have gone down that character out where he stopped being a horrific, sniveling nerd. And, you know, from the super serum, maybe became a mighty power armor laden soldier. Or maybe he stuck to the filthy, sniveling nerd aspect. And stuck to, like, long-range snipers, big on stealth, stuff like that. But given that there was Silver Shroud, we want to be bold. We want to get in there. We want to be bold. We want people to know who we are. God, I thought it was someone in the fucking corner then. <laughs> Why can't I shoot the raiders like that? Right between the eyes. Okay, right. Sorry. Get to work here. Store all junk. Uh, let's break some stuff down very quickly. Give me a second and I'll do that rapid fast. And so the shotgun doesn't work very effectively against the robots. We're going to need a new weapon. And the energy weapon seems to do a pretty bloody good job. So let's take this sighted alien assault rifle. I presume we can do some good upgrades here. Oh, look at that. God damn, I wish we had a higher rank science. But that's okay. These things happen. High energy capacitor. Here we go. Increased ammo capacity and fire rate reduced damage. Reduced ammo capacity and fire rate high damage. Um, honestly, let's do that. We're going to make this far more accurate. And just kind of kind of rely on good accurate hits. Because this stuff stuff does enough damage. We don't need to worry about don't really need to worry about the um you know kind of the fire rate or anything like that. I'm not really concerned about how much ammo it can take. When one shot's probably enough to kill him anyway. Long barrel, improved range and recoil control, faster projectile. High fire rate, lower damage, lower range. High fire rate, lower damage, better range. No, I don't really care about the let's go with that one then. Long barrel. Standard stock or recoil compensating stock? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, it's just like an improvement in every regard. So, we've got the choice of alien power cell, which, of course, we'll use for the next 554 rounds. Fusion cell conversion. There you are. It drops the damage. Actually, not by that much. I really thought it would be a, a pretty significant negative, but it's not terrible at all. We can also convert it to use Nuka Cola Quantum that gives it five extra damage, or we can get it to use fusion cores. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. That sounds pretty expensive, to be honest. And we can put a sight on this, too. Oh, cool combat scope short scope what do you think i almost feel like i almost feel like the reflex sight or the short scope is best tracks targets with the <sighs> let me have a look at the oh it's expensive let me have a look at the recon combat scope and we'll see how that looks um we've got a focus so improved accuracy worse recoil again if we're going for like single powerful shots that could work and then, um, oh, look at the, uh, look at the sights we can put. That's very silly. Okay. Um, let's just put a, a little blue dot. That seems fine. Oh, precision. Yeah, precision, please. Thank you. Uh, crosshair default. Okay. Uh, or we can give it a little reticle. Honestly, that's, that's fine how it is. We can make it glow. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Bit unnecessary, but fair enough. We change the color of the metal. Wow, there's a lot of customization with this, eh? Can we make it look... More silver shroudy. That's the real question. Uh, we've got like a gray, a dark gray. That seems a bit better. Make the glow like black. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And then the plastic we can change color of as well. Oh yeah, that's much more silver shroud. Okay, hang on. Let's see what we can do here. What's like the what's like the the most silver shroudy style color? Maybe like a dark blue. I think is best. Oh yeah. Oh, that matches the man much better. I'm a fan of that. Okay, let's just quickly check out the scope before we go too crazy with it. Maximize recon alien assault rifle. It is an assault rifle, but obviously I can just... Honestly, that's fine. That's that's totally that's totally acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine by me. 
And it's quite quick to reload as well. You know what? Very happy with that. Okay, fair enough. We'll keep the, we'll keep the shotgun, obviously. Do we really need to have Victorium if we're bringing this? Ah, this is technically an assault rifle, I suppose. So they've got they've got different uses. Cool. Right, sorry. That was, that was a very necessary evil. Let's get back out there and see where we've got to go. To be fair, we needed to fast travel near us. So not a big deal. Um, we haven't really been anywhere close to this, have we? Where do you think we go from then? I suppose good neighbor and just follow the road south is probably the right way although i say that's the road south that's probably on the um what do you call it you're the the freeway the highway whatever the big road above the city we don't really have them in the uk uh it's probably, it's probably like up there that's okay we'll, we'll figure things out we'll figure it out that's all right we might get a little lost on our journey that's part of the experience i think we don't need to, to bull rush through this DLC. Not by any means. I've never played this before. Like, this is totally all new to me. Whereas through the main quest, I've definitely played through once. And kind of a few times here and there. Not getting 100% of the way through. I've only ever played the game properly once. But like the main quest, I have dabbled in on occasion. Whereas the DLC, totally new to me. So I don't really know what to expect. Let's see what we can find then, huh? No need to be afraid anymore, Planty. Hold your head high. And be, can we follow this? Will this get us onto the freeway? We'll see. Looks like it might be. Give it a go. Hold your head high at this point. You are the silver shroud. People need to see you being strong and brave. Oh, that's a monkey I just shot. Be gone. Okay, that's already infinitely better. That's already infinitely better. So I'm very happy to see it. Okay, I feel like this is not the right way. <laughs> this is not the right way at all, is it? In fact, quite the opposite, but that's all right. Hold on. Let's change change tactic here a little bit and start going in this direction. Oh, hello. What you got for me? Pulse mine. What is that? The mutant dog? Oh, that's 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 the uh, that's the unkillable uh, woofty. Be gone! Actually, for these, let's swap over to the super mutant killing rifle, huh? You face the silver shroud, mutant! Your reign of terror... Oh. <laughs> Your reign of terror is at an end. One day. One day it may be at an end. Be gone. Come on, really? There you go. Thank you. Great work, Planty. God, you're so helpful in this wasteland. You're such a kind boy. Look at that enormous fella go. Be gone, mutant. Amazing. Right, I'm not, I'm not going over there to loot them. We don't need to loot everything, okay? It's something that we've just got to accept. Justice is far more valuable than any junk we could pick up off the floor. Well, I mean, it really depends on the junk, ultimately. This place is a total mess. Oh, God. Reload. 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 Oh, dear. You face the Silver Shroud. The Silver Shroud who might try and use vats for a change. Be gone. Okay, never never using mats again. That's the end of that. That's got Kent potentially killed in that alternate timeline. Oh, help. Okay, why are my stim packs not favorite in again? What's going on with that? Oh, they are. Why's it not working? Okay, well, I didn't feel so bad about dying earlier because I was definitely smashing that button. I just assumed, oh, I've unassigned it. Silly me, teehee, let's not mention it. But it actually wasn't my fault. I should have had more faith. Who, who are we looking for? Who are we looking for? Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh! God damn you, I didn't want a VAT. What are you VATs all of a sudden? That's not even near all. Amazing. Ah, uh, no, my robotic companion. The Silver Shroud cannot be injured, for the Silver Shroud is justice. And justice always prevails. Except, except for the one or two times where he has died horribly. But other than that. Okay, it seems like this is the right direction to be roughly heading in. There is a lot of, lot of villains in this neighborhood. Those sound like raiders. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Justice! Can we keep putting... <laughs> Can we keep putting calling cards on them? I should have tested it. Oh, that's bad. Oh! Okay, the Silver Shroud dispenses justice evenly. Everybody gets justice dispensed. Even the scorpions, no matter how many shots it takes. Do you want to maybe move away from there? Ah, robot companion. Quickly, move away. That is going to block. Legendary Raider, where? Oh, there's Legendary Raider somewhere, apparently. 
Is it going to blow up? What's going on? Okay, I don't think it... Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. So I was about to walk over there. Typical. Ow! Who's shooting Planty? What's going on with that? Up there? Oh, up there. Look. Silver. Oh, it's a mutant. It's a mutant. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. One second, please. Silver Shroud! As long as we keep shouting it enough while we're in the middle of a firefight, anybody who we don't kill, who somehow survives, we're good. <laughs> they can spread the word. No calling cards needed. Okay. So we can't leave. Okay, that's interesting. We can't leave any of that. Ah. Found the legendary raider. Good news. Get out of the way, dog. Good lord. Are you trying to save his life? Traitor. Metal chess piece of vitality. Plus one strength and plus one endurance. Again, totally worthless in this particular situation. Oh, this is oh, this to a new area, I assume. Oh no, we're good. I thought that might be a um like a different zone. Have to load in. Can we see anyone else to shoot? They are all right at the top there, aren't they? Okay, maybe if we get far enough out, we'll be able to see them. I think we're roughly going the right direction for where we need to be. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit distracting. Okay. Oh no, what happened here? Whoa! Ah, I'm able to deduce that this dolphin is very angry. <laughs> right, we might have to go for a swim. Pier just kind of, kind of stops. Okay, let's not worry about that. We can't fight everyone. We will, of course, because that's what that's what justice does. Ah! Be gone in the name of, bruh. Those shots were going through that. Todd, I'd like a refund on about half my ammo there, big man. That was nonsense. You saw that. What the hell's wrong with that seagull? Oh, even the seagulls are all mutated. Oh. Oh, that's gross. We probably should kill it in the name of... In the name of justice. Well, I mean, firstly, it's a seagull. Secondly, it was also a, a horrible, frightening mutant. And I felt kind of bad for it. Ah. Greetings. Please. Do you have any ran away? Oh. I think I may be dying. Of course, in the name of justice. Oh, thank you. You just saved my life. Ah, uh, remember the name, Silver Shroud. I'm just going to stay here a bit to regain my strength. Good. We did a good thing here. Um, We've got to find a way across this river. And I feel like leaping across and um, swimming is probably not what's intended here. So we won't be doing that. I guess we gotta go. I guess. I guess we can. Oh, my suit! Absolutely sopping with radiation. I mean, that would kill him. Realistically, that would that would kill him dead. I thought that firefight's still happening. The explosions happening in the distance. What about you? Are you an enemy? Also, where did that shot just come from? Your attempted escape is only making things. Who's shooting worse what? For you. Oh, raiders! 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 Okay. <laughs> Time to dispense some more justice, I'm afraid. We'll get there eventually. I promise we'll get there eventually. Oh! Gonna miss the gutsy. Hold on, that's not... That's not a raider. Oh! Who was that? Ah! You! You strange man! He's gone. He's gone without so much as a word. Mysterious. Oh! <laughs> I thought I'd shot them and they reacted early. No. It's just the dog jumping and grabbing him by the neck. Oh, boy, these alien blasters aren't as impressive as they used to be in uh, Fallout 3, eh? One shot and they'd be a pile of ash on the floor. Actually feels like a proper balanced weapon in this game. Damn, how, dis how disappointing. Oh, well. We should, probably should go in there and have another look at this robotics place, but... Uh, should, I, should I get into the habit of doing that more? Just diving in places? And this makes perfect sense in this situation. We're trying to hunt down the, the Mechanist, or whatever his damn name was. Mechanist, if you are here, it is I, the Silver Shroud. What is this? Oh, it was a, it was a sweeper. What do you call those? A broom. Which has a lot of good stuff here. Are you going to come to life? Yeah, I was going to say, let's be realistic here. You're going to get up and attack me anyway, so we might as well just... We might as well just see this through. This is a very good weapon against robots. Wow. Makes the shotgun look... Pathetic. And that shotgun is doing great work. I know I should stop blind firing, but um <laughs> or hip firing. It just feels a bit more uh 
just feels a bit more cool. It has that cool factor to it, though. Hmm, you may be right, my companion friend. The Iron Lady, that's what we'll call her. That's that's a superhero name. I've got it. I finally figured it out. The Iron Lady. You gotta admit, that's pretty good. I'm happy with it anyway. And you know what? That's official. You're w welcome to the... Welcome to the team. This is them shaking hands. She hasn't got quite got it figured out. Pulls his arm clean off. And then he'd say, Oh! And then they'd cut to, cut to credits. He'd laugh and say, Oh, the irony! Then it would, again, cut to, cut to credits after that. Oh, dear. Oh, no, that dealt with it. Okay, well done. Compromised. Engaging. Any idea Assault where they went? Trons? Don't like the sound of that, if you don't mind. It's just a robot show house, I understand. I understand what this place is for. Oh, I don't like those. What the hell? Good God. Sauron looking weirdo. What's that about? I like that magic light you've got there. Oh, no, it's not. It is on a tiny little. Oh, dear. This is taking a lot of hours to take out these bloody Protectrons. Hold on. We've got a plan. It didn't work. Oh! What the hell are we even being shot by? I mean, I can hear the the the, the flamethrower effect. Good lord! Okay, I'll catch us back up. That's very annoying. Poor Planty. Too much confidence and not enough armor to back it up. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. It is I, the Silver Shroud. <laughs> I can't believe how effective that is on a KO. It's like really good. Sometimes this gun is nuts. And then... I'm like, I'm not... I'm not going mad, am I? That, those shots were going right through that. Okay, the Protectrons take much more of a beating than... Than... I think is very fair. Oh, Lord, maybe the Alien Blasters aren't so good. Gosh, that is a lot of shots, isn't it? Let's get away from that firefighter. Why would a firefighter Protectron be able to shoot fire? Maybe it's the vehicle that blew up? Oh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously the vehicle blew up. But what I'm saying is maybe it was the vehicle blowing up that did the damage. <laughs> Give us this massive scope weapon and then still walk right up to them to fight. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. There's got to be some good loot here somewhere. I refuse to believe we go through this big robotics building without finding some sort of... Something remotely juicy. There's obviously plenty more to pick through, so I'm not really super bothered quite yet. Uh, ooh, hello. A little right away. I was just thinking we could do with some of that in a second. It's good. Have a look upstairs. Still plenty more of this building to go through as well. It's quite enormous. Oh. Well, I guess we'll take that person with us. Again, we could, for science, you could build one of those little uh, display skeletons you have in the biology class, right? Scientific? Officer, I swear. I'm a biology teacher. Mm-hmm. Ah, nothing gets past you, Iron Lady. Oh, maybe that is the end. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we didn't... We, I was going to say, we didn't go in here, but this is just the same room again. Oh, okay. Maybe this is it. Hang on, we'll go poke around upstairs. I'm sure there must be at least one rare item in here, right? I refuse to believe there isn't. Is this like total dead end? Uh, hello. Melon, give me that. And, um, yep, that seems to be roughly, roughly about it. Okay. Be able to get a bunch of robot crafting materials, I suppose. Very useful. Say, for example, somebody recently got the ability to build robots. Just have a quick peek over here, if not. I think that's genuinely it. Wow. I'm surprised there wasn't like a robotics magazine or something like around. But not everywhere can have unique stuff, I suppose. You run out of unique stuff pretty fast. There's a lot of interior in this game. Like Fallout 3. Replaying that. I replayed that not too long ago. I didn't play through because it bugged out in classic Fallout 3 style. Um, yeah. Like so much of DC is just a straight line between one train station and the other. One one metro tunnel and the other. Are you angry? I'm gonna assume you are. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. 
And, the, and it's all like beyond that. It's all just, just nothing. Like there's nothing really to explore. This game at least has that going for it. It's also very vertical. This game, which I, which I've always, I've always liked. I've always given it credit for that. The verticality always felt because like all of these places aren't just, they're not just set dressing. Right, you can actually physically walk on them, which is always, which is quite a nice change. Oh, are we supposed to be on here? Oh. Okay. Emergency frequency. Oh, another emergency frequency. We can't be tuning into all of them, okay? Uh, right, so it's definitely not here then. Oh, God. Robots. Robots? Are they enemies? They certainly are. Scavengers. Boy, I hope they were enemies. Listen, they're showing up as right on the... They're showing us right on the scope. That's good enough for me. Ross Devils. Careful. Sometimes these shots seem to go through objects unfairly. And then that, like, very thin tree branch was enough to stop it. <laughs> um, I guess we go all the way around. This is kind of the way we're supposed to go, but that's all right. Okay. Planty, you've really got to make this jump here, pal. Oh, Lord. Should we try and go into that? Go into the bed of that truck. That might work. Oh! You know, ever since he got that serum, he's felt his... <laughs> he's felt his physical abilities improve. We're going to be the next words out of my mouth, but never mind. He's clearly a lot more confident. Ruby. That dog has a name. Sorry, Ruby. That one's called Shog. And then, there seems to be a person here. Evildoer! It is I, the Silver Shroud, here to dispense justice. Dando. Are you a villain? Oh, I thought he was surrendering then. You gave him a chance. You all saw that. Gave him a chance. Gave him a chance, but he did not stand down. He was given ample opportunity not to shoot back. Now, you could make an argument. The Silver Shroud just burst into his home and uh, shot him and his dogs. But that's what justice is, I'm afraid. He fired at us first. Legitimately, he fired at us first. In fact, he set his attack dogs on us. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is where we have to be a little bit more careful. And maybe even look at that. The Silver Shroud's real ability. Quick saving. It's an ability he's not entirely adjusted to yet. Hence why it happens so rarely. Goners. This place is full of enemies. It's just like non-stop violence, isn't it? Gunners! You face the Silver Shroud! <laughs> He should probably leave one alive. Oh! He should probably leave one alive so they can go back and report. Oh, yeah. We got absolutely lit up by the Silver Shroud. That's also what, like, tyrants do. Kill them all and leave a messenger. Cut off his hands. <laughs> I have removed your hands so you can do no more evil. Let's get a little, get a little strange there, Planty. Now, that's an arc. Over time, he just becomes so... I can't find that other bloody gunner body. Not that it really matters too much. I think they have fusion cells. There's no only consent. Oh, hang on. That, what? Apparently, they're there. Apparently, they're right there. Good luck with that. Yeah, they did have fusion cells. What a, what a story that would be, though. Planty joins Caesar's Legion. Because he's got to... You've got to get, you get justice, okay? You've got to justice and order to the wasteland. Gonna get rid of the evildoers after all. And who better to decide who evildoers are than Planty Mush? Boom! Another level up. Beautiful. Uh, to be fair, we've done a lot of combat today. It's basically been non stop from start to finish. Okay. Level 22. What are we gonna do at level 22 then? 5% chance to hit and damage deal in VATS. That's pretty good, because at certain distances, that puts us up to 100%. I presume it's not 95% maximum, right? Action Boy. Again, I do like that. Mysterious Stranger appears more often. I don't use VATS enough to justify it, but having that mysterious uh, additional member of the Unstoppables, a man so mysterious that we don't even know what to call him. We don't even, we don't even give him a room in the Unstoppables headquarters. Or maybe we give him a room, but we'd never know if he's been there. Uh, your Action Boy points regenerate 50% faster. Honestly? Sure. Maybe I'd be... I, I'm, I want to incentivize myself to use VATS more often. And that's a good way to go about it. Got more of these Ross Devils. Bloody hell. 
This is the DLC, isn't it? The, these Rust Devil characters. I really do not remember them from... From the other times I've played. Well, I wanted to loot them, but um, they, they quite literally blew away. <laughs> so never mind, I guess. Okay. I did hear uh, Planting Mush's looting ability there fire off, so maybe we got something from them. Seems a little unfair that they can just disappear into space, but that's okay. These things happen, don't they? All right, sorry. Let's get back on track. Uh, yeah, it was over here. I remember. How far south have we gone, though? Oh, okay. Let's tag this building over here. Because it's quite a convenient fast travel point, isn't it? Oh, God. Is this another... Okay, military checkpoint. Let's... Oh, there's a rare item. Okay, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. Gunners. Okay. Fat man, we like that. Uh, Gunners have been very villainous so far. So I guess we do what we do best. And we dispense justice. Uh, what is the... <laughs> Bruh. That was insane. What the hell? Uh, there it is. Guns and bullets seven. Ballistic weapons permanently do 5% critical damage. That's nice. Amazing. Okay. Well, that was worth poking at. And I thought it would be another one of those big military buildings, like the one with the ghouls in before. A little more straightforward than that. South Boston Jet Point Terminal. Just, uh, just a place held up by the gunners then, huh? Oh, hello. Master Lock. Oh, no, this has got to be good. Uh, tease it. Carefully. Oh, there it is. Hold on, that way. Oh, okay. Well, we're going in the right direction, roughly. Hold on. Hold on. There. About there, then. Ridiculous. There. <laughs> right, so what do we get for our efforts? Who knows, because we looted it too far. Shotgun shells, fusion shells, psycho. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's chuck some shit on the floor. Man, we keep filling up with stuff so fast. Is there a part that gives you more carry capacity? I think it's strength, though, isn't it? I mean, I am picking up an incredible amount of stuff, so... Right, let's get back to it. Sorry. I promise we'll get to the DLC at some point. I suppose we're technically, we're technically like, in it, but... Let's at least try and make some progress today. Been a lot of clearing stuff out. Lots of great combat. You know, good levels up. Ooh, I bet one of these has a fusion cell in, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, they do. Thank you. This one. MC. Rest are empty. Okay, fair enough. It's really hard to, to, to try and justify not doing the exploration. Like, let's focus on the DLC. We're going to beeline it. Well, we found so much you good stuff. Vega, every raider in the place is taking a dirt nap. Jared included. That was Whoa. that was the really yeah, place is a ghost. That was the silver shroud. About time was us. someone wiped those bastards out. Ain't that the truth? That was us. You are celebrating the death of your fellow raider. Well, it was at the hands of the silver shroud. Think you can hide? Amazing. Oh, very cunning raiders. Be gone. Well, that's kind of cool that they actually commented on one of our actions. What have we got here? Boom. Thank you. Appreciate that. Silver table knife for the silver shroud. That's why they call him that. No table knife is safe from his crusade of justice. Justice against unpolished tableware. Balls unattended. Hoovered up en masse. Um, how do we get upstairs? Where's the... Ah, here we are. How do we get upstairs? Probably up the stairs, actually. Maybe he's saying you're still alive, Christ, about the concept of the Silver Shroud. Just can't believe it. Word's got to be spreading at this point, right? We've wiped out so many big bands of raiders. What the? What's going on with these stairs? Okay. <laughs> Carefully does it there, Planty. It's not one of the powers he's quite used to yet. That was a, that was a great bit of sneak in there. He never saw it coming. Oh! Jesus, that's the one advantage they've got over us. Planty is obsessed with picking up our tremendous amount of junk. My God. Oh, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Just don't panic. Just don't panic. Okay. Justice dispensed. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> 
Like, again, I kind of hate how much loot there is in this game. I really do. It's why I can't play stuff like Borderlands. We should go in there. I know. I'm well aware. We'll save it for another day. We'll save it for another day. There's been, there's been way too much side activity. That's basically what we did last episode. So let's not go too crazy with it. Even though it is tremendously beneficial, of course. We'll take these. We'll take, we'll take all this junk. Thank you. Good God. Uh, right. What have we picked up this time that's weighing us down? Pipe pistol. 10 mil pistol. We don't need that. We don't need that. You're all right. Thank you. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer to the DLC goal. We really should turn around and, and drop some of the stuff off. Ooh, hello. Late edition newspaper. Very late edition newspaper at this point. My God. Okay. Where, how do we get to this, um, presumably, police station? Just go ping this quickly. There you go. South Boston Police Department. Oh, it's not even a place you can go into. Okay, fair enough. Just a little, little thing marked on the map. Okay. And here we are. We're finally within 100 paces of the actual goal we've been trying to get to all day. Here it is. Oh! That was a big old crab. And here we are. Super mutants. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, hold on though. You're, you're hiding behind spikes. It's very unfair. Super mutants! Oh dear. What's that noise? What's that noise? What's going on? Take him out. Oh. Got a little bit too close. Got a little bit too close. But overall, could have been a lot worse. Okay, here we go. Really? There you go. That's what we were looking for. Just a slight gap. Just like a little opening there. Thank you. Oh, God. Okay, let's go dispense justice to the super mutants. The Commonwealth is ours! The Commonwealth! Oh! Oh! Hold on! You need to think of a witty one-liner. This Commonwealth is under the protection of... Oh. <clears throat> so, something. Silver Shroud, for sure. Definitely something Silver Shroud. Let's have a look over here. Let's have a look over here. Because we're not, we're, not gonna be, we're not gonna be coming back. Once we've cleared these places, that's it. I'm never coming back. Once we're done, we're done. Right. Super mutants. Maybe this is the right way. You never know. Mmm. Uh. Awful. Mmm. Awful. Oh, the dog's found something. What have you found? What have you found? Uh, yes. Flame. <laughs> the dog enjoys uh, chaos. The dog enjoys chaos. Okay. Just be brave, Planty. Just be brave. Remember, it's not you reaching into those disgusting bags of awful planty. It's the Silver Shroud. It's the Silver Shroud. It helps him cope. It really does help him cope. I think the dog was actually barking at something up here, right? You might want to drop some of those things you're carrying. Never. We need these things to rebuild the wasteland and bring justice. Uh, let's drop a, oh, drop a laser pistol. Oh, but they dismantle into such good stuff. Hold on. Um... Shit. Light dog armor. Do we need that? No. We've got better dog armor. That's fine. How are we doing? 238 of 240. Right. We're almost there. Is there really nothing here? Wow. I'm kind of surprised by that. Oh, there is a thousand ghouls that have just woken up. Where did they come from? Okay. Shotgun time. We know this works. We know this works. Well, in theory, it used to work. I promise. It did work at one point. Nice. Amazing. Good shit. Okay, justice dispensed. Bro. <laughs> terrible, terrible shooting today. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. <laughs> the fingers have lost all their strength. No, oh, they're not what they used to be. You're gonna have to help Grandpa. His fingers have lost all his strength. Got a little deck of cane there, Planty Mush. <laughs> General Atomics Facility. My God. What a trial it was to get over here, huh? I'll be honest, I'm so used to Fallout uh, DLCs being, you know, hop on a boat and go to a swamp, which seems to be every Fallout DLC. It's a genuine surprise that it's integrated into the capital... I was about to say capital waste. What is this? Boston. It's a genuine surprise. So I guess this is it then, huh? Guess this is it. So, let's 
Leave it here. Just leave it here. Let's pop on back to uh, the drive-in. Dump our stuff, kind of reevaluate what we've got going on here. Maybe we want a weapon swap, something like that, because the alien blaster, sadly, maybe not as good as I put stock in it, you know? Fond memories of Fallout 3, and this is this is clearly not the same level of alien blaster as Fallout 3 for sure. Very much not even in the same league. Right, maybe we'll do something with our... Oh, we didn't even get a level, though, did we, for weapon modding? All right, never mind. Uh, let's get all this shit dealt with. It looks cool, but I'm sorry. In in Oh, hello. Incendiary Watts laser rifle? Oh, we could upgrade it quite a lot. These these are quite overpowered, though, aren't they, these Watts laser rifles? We'll keep it. We probably won't do much with it. We're going to do with the um, Fat Man. You can throw an MRIV in it. Well, those are good. What is that? True Nuke. What is that? It just says True Nuke, and then the damage goes from 468 to 1,118. And look at the ammo. It looks totally different. Whoa. Um, it requires rank four science and rank five heavy gunner. So we will never ever see that. We've already got a fat man, so I'll take that one apart. Not a bad day though, for, for like leveling up. Actually kind of nuts. We've got basically like two and a half levels there, which is quite nice. Of course, the more we level up, the sooner we get to uh real gun modification. Let's reassess the weapon situation tomorrow before we before we head back out. Let's see what we can do. With that. I'm going to just store these. I never use grenades, and I carry them, thinking, okay, for a rainy day they might come in handy, and then that never happens, and it weighs us down. These NPCs are also ridiculous. Again, they're needed for like a um, like an implant mod. Basically, let's use implants like uh, Kellogg does. Problem is. Much like most workbenches in this game, it uses local leader level 2. Someone did ask about that in Discord earlier. So what I'll do is I'll probably just give Planty Mush the local level, local leader 2 park. Is either that we get up to what, like 6 charisma, which is 6 stat points, or I suppose bobblehead and um, 5. That That is correct. 6 minus 1 is in fact 5. Um, way too much. Way, way too much to justify, in my opinion. So, especially because we want to build an implant machine for a man with high intelligence. So, absolutely not, Ton Howard. I reject you. I reject you, Todd Howard. You hear me? So I'm assuming direct control, and we'll do something with that, and then we can have fun with some implants. Um, again, it seems an appropriate time to uh, integrate it, right? When we're doing all about robotics and the DLC. Seems like a fun time to give it a go. Maybe it's also a lot behind the quest. Maybe you need to get to Kellogg again first or something like that. Either way, thank you for joining me today. We will actually be able to dive into the DLC tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a little robot building tomorrow as well. Just to, just to, just to take a look at it, if nothing else.